Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. It's been a while and I'm sorry about that, but I've been undergoing some changes. Um, it's been a little bit challenging for me as long as probably many other people. Uh, I don't know if you recall in June 10, we had a solar, uh, an annual eclipse. And this energy for many of us, um, came up of about of an awakening and a sense of growth and um, and a lot of that's still following many of us and ourselves because energies from eclipses last and particularly with this ring of fire one <laughs> and it was an annual one it, it sort of that has people uh, that I've been talking to um, showing me that they're wanting to reshape their skills, they're, a lot of people are reimagining themselves, it's their personal work and their creativity is sort of becoming, and they're wanting to bring this sort of personal focus to their work back into what they're doing. And also, something often has to end before something has to beginning with this to begin with this energy so it's it's sort of been a little bit of a, a trying time of change if you like so with that in mind I wanted to sort of talk to you a little bit on how I'm going to be doing um, what I wanted to do because uh, I've been sort of it had me thinking about my channel and where I was going with it and things like that and for many of you um, if you've seen, followed me and I've been doing my readings, tarot readings on here, I tell you, uh, often when I'm doing astrology spread, that I was an astrologer before I was a tarot reader. But I'm talking back <laughs> in the 90s. And um, I started off in the 70s at high school with a set of tarot cards and Linda Goodman's Sun Sign book. And then I evolved to doing some courses in my early 20s. And uh, I was had my own new age shop in uh, the late 90s. I've read at markets. Um, I've done people's aspects and Saturn returns at markets and tarot readings with it. And I've been wanting to sort of blend that. And I didn't know how I would go about it, um, bringing it all together. And also amongst all the myths, mix of all of this, I'm also a trained hypnotherapist and I have a background in nursing. So... Um, and I, as I said, getting back to this eclipse energy, I just sort of had this awakening sense happen to me one more the morning post that, and I just thought, hmm, I got it. There's so I, there's change. I can feel change, and I need to make it. So there you go. So what I wanted to do <laughs> with this video is do what. Um, aspects are happening in the sky what we've got happening in the sky um, with the planets and whatnot this week and I was also going to talk about the tarot with that and just to give you a quick bit of background if you're reading with the Rider Waite Smith deck the planets tree and astrological connections if you like are slightly different because Arthur Waite did that in the 30s uh, quite some years ago, I ran into a French tarot reader and uh, Colette Silvestre, and she is very prominent over there. And she, uh, her work is all about uh, assigning planets to the major arcana because with the with the tarot de Marseille in France, they predominantly read with the majors only. Uh, and um, I'm not saying it's a hard and fast rule, but um, when I was in Cairns doing lots of readings, it was very international and I met lots of um, people from Europe uh, and we used to talk tarot and have coffees and things like that. And so I got that sort of Euro feel with that. So what I've done for this is I have, um, I should just change my cameras in a minute, is I've assigned the planets to my Tarot de Marseille and I will talk about it. So what I'm going to do is just change channels so you can see what I'm doing. Change channels, it sounds like that, doesn't it? Front and desks, thank you for your patience. I've had to put the camera over there and all this here. So Monday we have on the 28th, and I don't know where that falls for you, the moon enters Pisces and you could find yourself 
wanting to slow down and, and, and nurture yourself and get that connection with spirit and it's about trusting your feelings with that so what I did with that is if I look at the cards and we have obviously the moon there we go you can see that we have the moon and we have the hangman with the slowing down in a positive sense and he's ruled he's ruled by Neptune and Neptune connects with Pisces um, is a planet for rules Pisces and then you have trusting your intuition with the high priestess who is made up of the moon and she has that she's also the moon and Saturn energy I will talk about this I'll do a video talking about these if enough people are interested and she, because she is um, a little bit restrained with that so th th that can be good with slowing down because Saturn is predominant in the um, aspects in the charts at the moment with that so then also we have Venus going conjunct, injunct, not conjunct, injunct. Well, they're not with Jupiter, which means they're not flying that well at all. So you could find yourself on Tuesday um, having like sort of tensions within your relationships, work co people, anyone that you sort of got in your close proximity. And there's this it can be a little bit of an imbalance in some of your good friendships or relationships about given what's give and take with that. And so looking at that card for that, we have the lovers which is ruled by venus and we have in this system the emperor which is um ruled by jupiter and so there's this sort of energy there and then the advice for it because i when i was doing this i sort of thought mm, i'm going to pull an advice card for it which is the star and one of the best things to keep use of moderation and avoid embarrassment and tensions and things like that by just going with the flow with things find something else to focus on and she's also venus energy with that and then we have um moon also enters aries and um uh, if you're feeling this sense oh, i think that's wednesday um you're feeling this sense of tension and just take a breath and some energies because things could want to speed up when you've got all this sort of Pisces stuff happening and then it turns from Pisces and into Aries and you think things you'll be wondering there's been like a shift of gears so when I look at that cards for that we have with this system Mars is the chariot and he is a fast card and I know in with Rider Waite Smith they've got moons on the um, arms and everything with stuff like that and say he's ruled by cancer but he's actually a card of energy speeding up and needing to take control needing to get some sort of control with it because the speed is out of hand hand and once again we have the moon and chariot energy there with that and you're feeling like you've got to make these decisions you've, the moon's in Aries now and there's this sense of tension and um, one of the things you can do is put some focus in and channel your energies into what works for you so if you've got that sort of if, if it, where your chart's working and what how, where these where the moon is in your chart in Aries just in that impacts you then get out there and channel that energy into doing something that works for you, you know I mean clean out your cupboards do anything and uh, get through that so on Thursday Mars um, is opposite Saturn and uh, uh, that can cause frustrations and disappointment and tempers flare up and you get this when they have these oppositions happening with that and Mars will um, energize our beliefs and we want to have this drive happening and Saturn has this sense of being realistic about what it is you're going to do so if you're looking at that through the eyes of tarot here you have our chariot with that Mars energy and he's sort of flaring up where he's going <laughs> he's also looking at the hermit um, which is your Saturn energy primarily and it's sort of wondering well um, step back from this craziness and think what it is you really want and so you don't have this sense of frustration because when we have planets that are opposing it's really good to sort of try and get the best of each things of each planet and use that rather than just thinking you're at loggerheads and being a bit crazy with it all um, 
think of take the best of each thing so there you have this energy and drive to do something but also step back and make sure you're doing something that's worthwhile and it's realistic that you're gonna get it done instead of just plowing like crazy with the mad chariot when you use Mars energy when you think when you think about it I don't know let me know what you think because that's sort of how I sort of see these cards now so then we move to Saturday and we have the moon entering Taurus the Sun's still in cancer and this is a time for like nurturing yourself with the moon in Taurus that's so good to sort of I don't know do something that feels good get um, your feet in the earth um, eat out and hang out with people that you vibe really well with in, I, I find with these cards and so what I did with the tarot with that is looking once again we have our moon and tarot is ruled by Venus uh, and also we have this beautiful Sun card with that so enjoy that space with people make the decision that you're going to have a nice time because it can be a card of choice as well be with those that who you know like and trust and let that things go with flow eat and drink and enjoy the aspects that are happening with moon entering Taurus and the Sun still in cancer with that and then we have also on Saturday the Sun is in conjunct with um, with Saturn in conjunct not flowing well there's some sort of tensions there with that not as smooth as we would like it so here we have the beautiful Sun energy so under the aspects of the Sun in conjunct with Saturn from Friday to next Monday it can make you feel like yes <laughs> your um, your good times are getting suppressed a bit for whatever reason there's restrictions and obligations and um, everyone in the world has either been through a lockdown or going through a lockdown or on the verge of a lockdown at the moment so I can there's that energy you can just almost feel it um, energy wise so it's important that we be flexible and adaptable and make the most most of make the most of what each planet has so here we have I want to be out and socializing <laughs> but Saturn is saying no 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 you need to be doing what I want <laughs> you need to step back and be inside so you need to pick well what's the best from the Sun the best from the Sun is enjoyment and focusing on the positive and with Saturn the thing is once again being realistic what's what is what can we do that's good with with the Saturn and that realistic look and shine the light on what is good because these shines the light on that and both of these are fire too with these cards this energy as well as the planetary energy so just sort of focus on what is something good you can do about um, these restrictions and obligations you might have be flexible and adaptable and um, you'll find that that will bring about some progress for you because if you you've got to step back from the tensions with that with those cards and we also have Mars squaring Uranus at the same time um, from Thursday to following that week next Wednesday and you also sort of see um, there's a change with Mars and square in Uranus this has been building a uh, building but for a while the same as with the Saturn at um, Mars and Saturn energies and so with Uranus there's this urge to break free <laughs> there's this urge to feel free from these restrictions that are getting pulled upon us and you, know, um, you might want to change some area of your life and you have to look at where these planets are in your chart and how they are affecting you so this is an energy of taking action wanting to take action to bring about change and a lot of things are changing as a result of this the positiveness from this is on a world level there's going to be um, different changes made to the old ways but if we're looking at our cards um, looking at from the cards we have the chariot and Uranus is ruled by the fool in this system I'll just find him there so you've got this one bit of drive with this card wanting to <laughs> charge along break free make changes with this card I'm not doing that I'm not following your rules I'm going my way <laughs> energy and um, 
that's what that's what's going with this toing and froing with this square here with me so do what you need to do to make change but also consider that you're not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Um, and it it's about it is good to do things with your own style and with your own way as long as you're not sort of making a fool of yourself with it. So that's what is happening <laughs> with our cards and our stars for the next week. So I'd love to know what you think of this idea. Um, not idea, this energy way. I've put these planets on the um, major arcana of the tr tr TDM, tr um, Tarot de Marseille, for quite some time now and I find it's really sort of um, working and resonating well with my readings but every read is different and has their own approach. So if I just want to draw some cards now for our overall effect aside, we'll just see what we get. We get, um, we have change coming definitely there's change coming with saturn um uranus so that's coming um as well with as a square as as well with that and also we have saturn here and um venus and needing to think well yeah how about we dealing with these aspects that are coming that are here and just being able to say well yeah it is restrictive but how do I make it work for me for the betterment of myself and others? I do, we, what we do with a lot of these changes is, is to make betterment and things flowing for ourselves and for those who are around us and how we can learn from it and also teach others. And then our final card, funnily enough, is temperance. And temperance in this system is made up of Saturn and Uranus as well um, so that is that little bit of a restriction but doing it a little bit different to get that balance restriction and doing it a little bit different um, so there you have your cards and stars for the week please let me know what you think and I'd love to thank you for watching your energy is important and I look forward to seeing you on the next video bye for now